Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome to our next snippet, snippet number 47. Wow, can you believe it? And as per always, we're using a piece of four by six inch white pink frog smooth card, 300 GSM or whatever card preference you prefer. I'm going to be using stamp set 734, which is Glide. I'm also going to be using Tickets 757. And we're going to be using the B of 735. So let's begin. I'm going to begin with an A7 acrylic block. And I'm going to start with mustard seed. So I'm going to take my mustard seed ink and I'm just going to apply that across my acrylic block. I'm then going to go with Lumberjack Plaid and just, I'm sort of using the edge of my acrylic, not my acrylic, I'm using the edge of my ink pad. I'm then using Picked Raspberry. So I'm sort of pressing the edge of the ink pad across the acrylic block. And then I'm using Wilted Violet. So just add the wilted violet. You can go back and if you wish, you can add a little bit more of a certain colour if you wish. I'm then going to just go off camera and spritz that with water. One, two. So I've just spritzed that with water twice. So I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to place that on my piece of pink frog smooth card now if you lift it straight away it's just going to go into the center which is fine we don't mind that but what i'm going to do is just allow that just to sit a little bit and i'm just pressing very lightly just so that i get some of the white areas as well sort of sing to yourself for a couple of seconds i'll just grab a wipe while we just sing to ourselves while that just sits there for a couple of seconds and I want you to have a second piece of Pink Frog Smooth Card available when we lift this. So just lift your acrylic block, place that on one side and then spritz the acrylic block once more with water. Take a second piece of card, which we'll use another time for our next snippet. And then just press that down this time so that it's a little bit smoother. So while that just sits there with this one that we've just done, just spritz a little bit more with water so that that moves. And then I want you to place that on one side. So this is what you've got and you're just going to place that on one side. You're then going to take this piece and you're just going to lift that. And you're just going to leave that on one side as it is. You could take a third generation print, which will be quite pale, but will give you a third generation. I've done mine before so that they start drying. So this was the second generation print, which we'll save for our next snippet, which would be snippet 48. So we'll save that for the next one. But we're going to be working on snippet 47. I'm then going to take my Glide stamp set 734 and we're going to ink that with our black Versafine Claire. A beautifully detailed stamp with leaves in the background but on this occasion we're just going to use the butterfly. So I'm using my Nocturne black ink on a piece of spare piece of card again i'm using my pink frog card now even though this is a snippet and i've only got 15 minutes i still give that stamp time to absorb into that card use my acrylic block to lever the image so that i can get a good print there we go we've got a beautiful print i've actually cut mine out i do apologize for my arms I've actually cut mine out and I've coloured mine with Ecoline pens. I've used Deep Orange 257, Carmine 318 and Pink the Fuchsia 350. So I've sort of gone pink, orange and red, but the red is the darkest, uh, the orange, the mid colour and the pink. So I've used those colours to colour. 
So you can colour however, whatever makes you happy with your ink tents, whichever you enjoy creating with. So my butterfly will go here like so. I've then, from the rare creatures, I've stamped the B for butterfly. So I've got the B for butterfly. And from my tickets, I've taken one of the tickets and I've stamped that out in black nocturne ink and cut that out and distressed the edges with a pair of scissors. Be careful if you're going to use scissors. I need to say that because some scissors are sharp, so you need to be careful. I'm then going to use my washi kaleidoscopic um, hash 41 that's got some of those butterflies on there. So I'm just going to distress the edges just of the washi just a little bit because it makes me happier. Doesn't matter if lots of bits come out. I'm just distressing the edges a little bit. Oh, she says, and then I'm going to pick it all back up again. And there you can spend 15 minutes of your time messing with washi. So I'm just going to place the washi just here, like so, with distressed edges. And then my, I just want a little bit of the butterfly showing here. So the butterfly will then go here. So I'm going to add my butterfly and I'm just going to adhere that just in the centre. Now, you don't want too much dimension because obviously this is going into your journal if you're adding it into a journal like me. I've then got my little ticket, which I can just tuck behind here. And I'm leaving that in black and white to give some contrast. So I'm just going to tuck that behind there. I'm then going to add the B. And you can see that the background is still visible. You're not covering up your background. I'm then going to take a yellow, yellow Posca pen and I'm just going to add some splatters of the yellow. Just to echo the yellow just on the background. And I'm just using a very thin Posca pen because it's the only yellow I've got. I'm then going to use my white Posca pen Give that a shake and I'm going to add some of that white. Whoops. You can then take little bits of the washi that you've got left that you've just torn and just add little touches of that washi just. Let's pick a little bit more. I like to faff with washi, as you know. And this washi is stunning, absolutely stunning. There we go. So I can take this washi and just add a little bit there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the yellow Posca pen just to the washi, just so that it looks part of the composition and then if you wish I've got washi hash 45 which is nightshade and on here are some beautiful words so I've got the word beautiful there's so many words on here that you can you can use and don't be too sort of regimented with your washi. Just sort of spend a bit of time just to distress that a little bit. So I can add this washi there. And I can spend more time faffing with washi than I do with a stamp. But that's me all over. So I'm then going to just tuck that under there and add the word beautiful. Just add a few more 
slight splatters of the yellow just so that the washi looks part of the project. There we go. And if we bring in our journal that is for the snippets. So this is snippet 47. And if you add that to your black mat, you can then see how beautiful that works out, even just with a nice simple background, a couple of nice little embellishments and you're done. And that's the idea of the snippets, that you take this little snippet of an idea and you can develop and move on to that and add other items if you wish. So I hope you enjoyed Snippet 47 and I'll be back shortly with Snippet 48. Love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.